let's talk about in the context of our previous conversations, um, again, you know, that idea that every time there is a new technology, society must reckon with how it expresses its values mm -hmm. and whether you feel like artificial intelligence presents yet another challenge to what we've already been talking about here in the deployment of algorithms and machine learning. I think it, it presents a, a challenge for the same reasons that I'm talking about it in these positive dimensions. Because just because it can scale positive doesn't mean it will only scale positive. Mm. It will also scale negative. Right? And how do we grapple with that? And you know, that's where, again, I, I like history because it's a grounding force. Mm -hmm. Watching the history of scientists around nuclear energy mm -hmm. is a really good reminder of this. They saw the potential for much more environmentally friendly, you know, ability to achieve energy at a, at a significant level. Of course, we also know where that technology got deployed in much more horrifying ways. But we also saw international governance structures Absolutely. that came in. And I love this example um, because it leads me to sort of the, the discussion we should have about solutions and, and what your research center is exploring as far as, you know, when you talk about nuclear, you talk about the Nonproliferation Treaty Absolutely. and all of the structures that came around it that then reflected humanity's values and, and, and its way to contain this technology. And that's the moment we're in. That's the moment where we're like, we're seeing these technologies rolling out, we're seeing them scale both good and ugly, and now we have to actually grapple with what we deal with it. And it's not going to be about removing, for example, the root, you know, the uraniums, because that's, that doesn't make sense for an AI system. It's going to be a lot of understanding how to assess the data that it's using, to assess, you know, the use cases of where it's acceptable or not acceptable. Um, to see how warfare is going to be playing out mm. using these systems. I mean, we're going to be running into more and more battles as you know, nation states as well as corporations fight each other over the quality of data. We're going to run into challenges, you know, for example, about accessing energy grids that use you know, artificial intelligence to power the city. We're going to run into those problems. And so a lot of what we have to grapple with is how do we secure systems how do we think about key, not just the vulnerabilities of access, but the vulnerabilities of manipulation of data? How do we think about what environments should they be used in or what environments should they not be used in? Those are the hard problems that we're facing. They're really hard, and, and part Absolutely. of that goes back to the issue of who controls the algorithm and who controls the data in a lot of cases um, is the one that controls how uh, how these decisions are made. Um, are you but 20 optimistic? years from now, I don't think that will be so simple. Yeah, are you, are you optimistic that there can be a regime that can um, grapple with these issues and, and, and hold um, the different players to account in, in ways that we saw with, with nuclear technology? Are, are you optimistic about that? You know, I think yes and no. And I say that because I think we've done a decent enough job on nuclear but we're still contending with it massively. Mm -hmm. We've done a lousy job on climate. We have the data on that. Mm -hmm. And we can't get our political processes together to actually do anything about it. So I can see both possibilities. Um, and I think that there's a lot of really good interventions or efforts being made. I think there's a lot of attempts to build out tools to understand what's going on with the system. The question for me is, you know, it's not actually about the technology or about the systems. It's about us as agented actors in a society and what will it take for us to mobilize to do the hard political work. And it's not clear to me, right? I can see us getting there, but I would have thought we would be a lot further on climate today than, I, than we are. So you know, that's the challenge.